Hello, welcome to Biotanomy. Biosynthesis of Peptidoglycan Peptidoglycan or murine is a rigid structure that surrounds the cytoplasmic membrane of bacterial species, which protects them from environmental stress and also preserves their shape and structure. The biosynthesis of peptidoglycan is done in three steps. Stage 1. Synthesis of udp muramyl pentapeptide and udp glucosamine. Stage 2. An intermediate lipid precursor is synthesized. Stage 3. Polymerization of the newly synthesized disaccharide peptide units. Stage 1. Synthesis of udp muramyl pentapeptide and udp glucosamine. Stage 1 occurs in the cytoplasm. In this stage, the nucleotide sugar link precursors, like udp muramyl pentapeptide and udp glucosamine occur, as given in the following pathway. In stage 2 precursor lipid intermediates are synthesized in the cytoplasmic membrane. The phosphorylenosyl muramyl pentapeptide derived from udp muramyl pentapeptide is transferred to a plasma membrane acceptor named bactoprenol. The compound formed in this collaboration is known as lipid 1 or n acetylmuramyl pentapeptide pyrophosphoricundicaprenol. To lipid 1, n acetylglucosamine from UDP n acetylglucosamine is added to get lipid 2 or n acetylglucosamine beta 1, 4, n acetylmuramyl dash pentapeptide pyrophosphorylundercaprenol. Lipid 2 is the substrate of the polymerization reaction to form peptidoglycan. With the help of the bactoprenol molecule, the lipid 2 is transported to outside the cell membrane. Stage 3. Polymerization of the newly synthesized disaccharide peptide units. Now, the final stage of peptidoglycan synthesis will occur in the outer side of cytoplasmic membrane. In this stage, transglycosylation and transpeptidation reaction will occur with the help of penicillin binding proteins. During transglycosylation, the reducing end of N-acetylmuramic acid is transferred onto the C4 carbon of the glucosamine residue of the lipid link peptidoglycan precursor, along with the release of undercaprinyl pyrophosphate. These release undercaprinyl pyrophosphate are then dephosphorylated back to the bactoprenol lipid carrier. Next, the transpeptidation will occur by releasing terminal D alanine from one stem of the peptide to form an enzyme substrate intermediate, releasing the energy necessary for the transpeptidation reaction. Then the peptidyl moiety is transferred to the non alpha amino group of the dibasic amino acid in the second stem peptide. The process continues until the cell wall is completed. Thank you. Please like, subscribe and share. See you again in a new topic.